I wanted to, um, to explore this concept of a porosity test a little bit more and I think I, I have done some um, permeability tests, I think I call them all penetration tests before when I was testing out different forms of prep. I had uh, ground areas and I was testing to see whether like what the degree of preparation needed to be in order to get the same amount of penetration of different liquids. And um, I, I think that was useful. And you can go back and look at that post and, and see what it was I was trying to achieve. But today was more about grasping the concept of the porosity test as they use in the floor covering industry. And there is an ASTM standard, I can't remember the number right now, but I will quote it in the, in the comments below in the post. But the, the test is basically you uh, drip a drip of water, and I think it's half a milliliter of water, um, onto the concrete. And within a minute, if, the, if it has penetrated into the concrete totally, within a minute, it's deemed as porous and if it takes longer than a minute it's deemed as non-porous and I thought that was it's useful right I think it's a useful test um, it'll serve a purpose but even just doing a little test on unprepared concrete which is what you do actually see in the floor covering market I realized that it's going to show that the concrete is porous even though it is unprepared. In our terms, in the resin game, we're saying there's been no mechanical preparation, so it's not typically deemed acceptable for resin flooring. But the porosity showed me that it was porous. And in theory then, is it good enough to then go ahead and stick your, your flooring system or adhesive or coatings, whatever it is, over the top of? So, I think it's an interesting point of discussion. I think porosity tests serves a purpose. Um, but I wanted your feedback. I really wanted to gauge what did, what do you think? You're in the you're in the industry, you've probably seen, you know, all sorts of different scenarios. You've probably felt the, the downfall of not having good porosity into a prepared slab. And um, so what do you think? Is the porosity test a useful tool or is it misleading or how can we make it a useful tool in the resin flooring sector so that's that's my question for the day for the day um, i'm resin jack as always take care and keep smiling